Hey guys, today we're back with another video. Today we're back working with a construction business. Today we've been hired to do some work at a local dirt track. This morning guys, I decided to take our 2015 GMC 3500 Denali a Duramax along with our 20 foot PJ and as I was loading the skid onto the trailer, I noticed it was on empty here so I just stopped, I did top it off and I did grab a few snacks in the convenience store so it did work out uh, quite well. Let's get the Duramax fired on up, let's get over to a job site. Now today guys, we have a lot of work ahead of us here, so local dirt track has been getting sold out with the grandstands and with all the spectators as well as so we have a lot of work to do on the track and expanding uh, so many different areas of it, which should be a lot of fun. Now like always guys, there's a full mods list linked down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. Now guys, the local dirt track does have a grader here, which we're going to be putting to work, and we do have one of our company dump trucks here. We're probably going to bring in probably half dozen uh, loads of clay here to put onto the racing service to improve it here, but with these dirt tracks, guys, uh, they do get a lot, a lot of wear and tear here all around it, uh, from the facilities to the dirt tracks and everything uh, just uh, gets worn out when you are sold out crowds, and uh, there's dirt everywhere and things like that here but I really do like this uh, Duramax here I haven't really ran one of these in uh, quite some time I got the key to the gate the other night here, so let's get this open it on up here. Now I'm thinking, guys, I do want to drive around, just kind of go over everything we're going to do, and then we'll get right to it here, because I would say there's probably six, seven different things we're going to be doing, uh, which is good here for us. I think we might spend a day or two working, which is uh, pretty awesome, but I've been getting quite a few requests to do more construction videos, and videos like today are just so awesome. I'm so excited for it, and it's going to be a lot of fun here, but very nice facility as well now I did bring the drone we might go up there but I think why don't we go find the UTV I think it's in one of these uh, doors here I, uh, I don't really know which one it is that one whoa look at that some old late models a uh, pretty sweet let's see here oh yeah this is a UTV here I'm not sure and I don't really want to be opening up all these doors we're first going to be starting off here with the track. You guys can see they do have grandstands, but today we are actually going to be building another set of grandstands off here to the side, which is going to be a lot of work, but uh, that should only be assembly here. But on the uh, track service, yeah, this definitely needs to be graded out. We're going to bring in some new dirt. You guys can see there's mud, there's tire ruts all over. Uh, wow, this is going to take two, three hours just working the dirt here, giving a little bit of a bank as well. We don't want exactly a flat track here, but the other problem problem with uh, the racetrack here is these concrete barriers yep I think the skid should be able to move those back into place looks like one looks like two here these must be where people are flying into it with uh, off-road toys and just crashing them here probably not the best uh, for the uh, concrete or even the toys but oh yeah that definitely needs to be moved two of those oh yeah so we're gonna have to get going on that as well over here we do have the restrooms and they did mention there are a few restrooms behind that they do want to be uh, torn on out. Yeah, those should be no problem. Just push those over with the skid and all this uh, debris has to be taken out of here. We'll probably load it up in the dump truck uh, as uh, we uh, kind of uh, the trucks leave to go get another load of dirt as well. So we'll do that and right where we are guys, we are actually going to be putting another mechanic shop as well. That's going to be a lot of work. I believe it's a pole barn and uh, that should be a pretty straightforward as well. The last big part of our job here at the racetrack is actually here at the entrance. We're going to be putting in a new ticket uh, slash a security booth here with the working gates. We're going to be taking out the current gates and that's going to be a lot of work here and I think we'll first get going there on the dirt track. I really just want to start to work that dirt around and uh, fix those barriers first. Now you guys saw a glimpse of this as we were running around there with the UTV, but look at this guy's an old grader. This thing looks pretty sweet here. Definitely a lot of wear and tear on it, but uh, they did say it does fire it on up. But hey, it's going to work quite well, and this actually does have quite a few more features here with angling, different things like that. So uh, that should also help us on out uh, quite a bit there, but let's hop on the John Deere and let's get to fixing those barriers. 
Now we do just have a set of power forks on the front here. I don't think we're going to have any problems with that. Uh, we might end up damaging them just a little bit, but I think these are pretty stout here. Oh yeah, these should move no problem. Look at that already moving this one, which is a good thing. We don't want to go uh, too uh, kind of fast into them. We don't really want to damage the barriers. We just want to kind of move them back into place here. But let me know, guys, have you ever been to a small local dirt track? I've been to a few, and I will say, guys, they are so much fun watching the cars, watching everything rip around. And I, hey, maybe uh, we could go for a spin in one of those uh, vehicles that they have here. Maybe I'll give them a call if we do get done a little early here today. I think that would be a lot of fun. But moving these barriers around is a little bit simpler than what I was even thinking it was going to be. Look at that. Perfect. And now we just have to move that one a little bit more here. But I will say, guys, there's quite a few barriers uh, that are still in really good condition here as well right about there right about there should be good so we got that one fixed here i believe there's two other ones and then we're actually gonna go with the uh, dumb truck and i think we're gonna put all the dirt on the corners probably half the truck load on that side half on this side should work uh, well here for us really not much to bring in just uh, kind of get it moved around get it leveled on out is really what they did ask us uh, to do here but wow uh, moving these barriers in place is good i'm actually a bit surprised they don't have more machinery here sometimes uh, dirt tracks have like a small tractor maybe Maybe I'll recommend that to them. Uh, maybe a compact tractor, um, a farm tractor, maybe an old one uh, would work out quite well. Now, if you do want to see more cool videos like this, please let me know. Here I am trying to make some pretty cool, unique content here around Farming Simulator 19. And I can't wait for what's to come here. I have a lot of things in the works, so many cool ideas. And we will be doing some pretty awesome multiplayer content pretty soon. Alright, we just unloaded the International here. I put about half on that turn, half on the other one. That should work quite well here. But guys, this has been a long time since I ran a grader. I'm going to be a bit rusty behind the controls here. Definitely on one of these older ones though. I think these might be a little bit easier to run here. But let's see if we get that blade raised on up here. Really, really cool. I can't wait to really see how this works here. There's so many cool features about this old one uh, that they were actually telling me over the phone here. But let me know if you guys would like to see more. More construction uh, videos here with Farm Sim. There's so many cool things we could do. So many opportunities uh, to take on some pretty unique jobs here. But we have a lot of grading to do. I think I'm going to go around the track two, three times. Especially working these uh, turns as well to really uh, kind of get uh, the uh, track kind of worked in. And uh, let's see if we get to the uh, blade rotated around here. It's really going to help us on out as well. Oh yeah, looking that we are moving quite a bit of material. This is going to work out well. Remove all the high spots. Uh, fill in the low spots and it should it really make this thing uh, look like a brand new track all around An hour's worth of work running the grader. You guys can see the track surface came out quite well here. Definitely looks like a brand new surface. And all the off-road and all the uh, race of vehicles should have quite a lot better uh, time getting around here. And I will say, guys, this old grader ran pretty well here. For a few moments, I thought we would have a few engine problems, but it did work quite well here. So up next, guys, they're actually coming any minute to assemble these stadium seats. I actually hired a third-party company to handle it. The company company that uh, builds it is actually going to assemble it here for us. So we'll catch you guys back once that's done. With the addition of these new seats, guys, we just doubled the size of the racetrack. That means double the people can come over here, have a lot of fun. And you guys, since it looks like there is a little uh, a room down below there for the race officials. And wow, that is quite a lot of seating. Probably about uh, 50 people could sit there. Another 50 over here. Definitely big improvements. And I think up next, guys, we are going to be working on extending this driveway along here for the all new uh, pole barn we're putting in. Several hours later, guys, we got the driveway and the pole barn built here. The driveway is just stone pack. I'm not sure if they want to put down any asphalt here, but look at the pole barn, guys. This looks quite well here. Now, you guys can see pretty basic on the inside. No heat, nothing like that. I think that this is just to uh, store any customers' cars, or they might end up putting any uh, car lifts inside. Now, one thing, guys, we do have to clean up all that debris back there, and I think we might have to call in another truck or two for that because there is quite 
quite a lot of material, but the other thing I want to do before we put down the camera is going to be going and working out there with the gate. So we'll hop on the UTV with lots of hand tools, and I think we should be able to get that done and then uh, just kind of clean up a bit. I've been running this UTV around the property guys the entire day and I will say this JCB brand is a pretty sweet one here. Looks like it's a little bit on the cheaper side but hey it gets the job done here. I actually really do like it. it looks like more of a work UTV instead of a sporty version but uh, this get the, uh, gets the job done here. So I'm going to get out the hand tools. We are going to be removing this gate here and uh, they are actually going to be dropping off a, a booth here and then we're going to put a new gate in. Here we have the new booth at the entrance and this was actually a pre-built they unloaded off a truck with a built-in crane here and we actually have an electric gate here which is going to work quite well and that means you don't have to hop on out and unlock it with a key here but this is going to be for ticket sales and then uh, when the uh, track is not open there's going to be security uh, which is definitely needed here but I actually just got off the phone with the owner and he said we could take out the dirt buggy on the track so I think let's hop in that rip around and then we'll put down the camera. Guys, it's so cool we have customers like this that allow us to have quite a bit of fun once we get the job done there for them. Now, he did say the buggy was blue, and I will say those dirt uh, late models must be a bit tricky to drive. I'm not sure if uh, I can hop in one of those, but this dirt buggy is probably like a go-kart uh, just made to go on the dirt track. The barn doors are a bit uh, sticky sometimes with the uh, locks uh, not wanting to open up here, but this should be a ton of fun just to rip around. We got the uh, netting on both sides, so I mean, hey, we are uh, being so safe as well and this is a great way to end a full day's worth of work here but I, I mean guys we've done so many improvements to the track uh, and hey maybe we'll get a free invite to come out to the uh, track this upcoming Saturday and let me know down below guys maybe we could do some uh, live stream or even some multiplayer racing at this track I think that would be a pretty neat thing guys I'm gonna keep ripping around here probably for the next 10-15 minutes but I'm gonna put down the camera and call it a day hope you guys enjoyed today's video doing a lot of work here at the local dirt track but until next time thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more